for remand, regional remand, provincial sentences, and immigration. Okay. <coughs> That's the advertised um, thing as far as what whoever signed the check for was uh, led to believe. And, uh, and okay, now let me finish. Sorry, I had to detour there. Okay, so, like I say, uh, Harper's only put down like 1% out of the budget for this. And you're never going to own it, but you're going to be on the hook to lease it for at least 80 years. 30 years at the deal as written, apparently, that nobody's seen. Uh, including the operator of the actual prison itself, not the guards. That'll be robotized a little later if, uh, you know, but... 2017 when Harper gets in the first strike he creates with with the Union this is the, the bust up the corrections BC Union whatever the hell it's called some kind of QP Union I would imagine like <coughs> left field okay so robotize them and you know obviously you're going to do it at a new prison right maybe yeah <coughs> if you can't use like a uh, state of your papers please uh, state of martial law if you can't fabricate that that Harper's going for you know he'll have been given well go to plan B plan C you know open your lockers and pull it out and you know, get out the codex and see what it the global Zionist instructed you to do if this happens or that happens and that's how these guys work uh, of course that's hidden in the cabinet oh Stephen Harper as a cabinet hider, you know, so. Um, as opposed to, like, a safe where they keep the fire codes to let the nukes rip loose or whatever. <clears throat> In the MX bunkers, or the Minuteman 3, or the Satan SS-18s, or the Jericho, uh, Jericho arrows, or the hat on bursts, the neutron bombs, the, the Israeli ink has and to wipe out all the Middle East people and then just inhabit the cities, right? Wait for the cockroaches or, you know, what are they, cherubs? To eat all the flesh and then just go in and pick out the gold teeth from their bones and vacuum up the mess while you have your slaves do it and the robots or whatever. Maybe when the prison, when they've turned everybody in these privatized prisons into the Southern Green uh, and sold their parts and whatnot, the Borg, the, the, the better carcasses, and, and the robots don't have anyone to guard and thug anymore, I guess they'll be sent into these neutron bombed areas to, to vacuum up the bones, the bone dust. <coughs> Um, I don't know who these brain worms that are running the show are going to inhabit, but I think they're heavily counting on these plastic bodies we keep hearing about that are probably been based on the same defective uh, Roswell 1947 technology that all the IC is plagiarized from, and you know, off of license, so there's no liability there other than that due diligence warning that, hey, if you're using this shit, look, it's very vulnerable to things like Carrington solar flares. I mean, how do you think, <laughs> how do you think it ended up crashed in Roswell, the satellite crashed in uh, uh, Roswell, New Mexico, this uh, hot hydrogen solar sail balloon. Oh, the fucking solar storm knocked it out of, out of commission. <clears throat> you fucking idiots, you little fucking... What did you play with? Nike Jack? With a Tom Tom in it or something? Couldn't be nothing. Other than create a Thoris Hammer by interlacing plasma fills during a solar inclusion event that, you know, you just. What, <coughs> what did Tesla call them? Spink baby. 
know what that. You get a little push charge. <laughs> but we don't want to get too far into that. You monkeys got enough. Murderous monkeys got enough clubs to beat each other to death with. Them kind of things will hurt all kinds of life. So, forbidden. Uh, okay, anyhow. Um, just say no to Bill C-51. Uh, uh, oh, uh, what is it Bridget used to say? Uh, Bridget D. Page. Stop! It's Stephen Harper! Wait! Stop! Stop, man! You're killing Canadians and innocent humans all over my earth! Stop, Stephen Harper! <clears throat> what a dedicated page, eh? Uh, house page, you know. Runs back and forth between the uh, member of parliaments, the, the ministers, and you know, passes documents, notes, whatever, securely, and you know. <clears throat> so whatever she saw that freak girl, <clears throat> what else was she to do? <laughs> I mean, and that was within her purview. So really, she was wrongfully dismissed. I dare say, had she been maybe switched to a to a less stressful uh, position as should have been done, like maybe uh, uh, like the door greeter at Kmart. Uh, you know, the, that whole business with the guy spinning out that couldn't get to his dead uh, wife's funeral in, in uh, Syria because Stephen said, no, you can't leave, or whoever was handling him uh, at immigration and, you know, they did whatever to him, and he ended up apparently shooting them two unarmed soldiers with, with them that had empty rifles, and, and then then went to I don't know turn himself in at Parliament or whatever I don't know. Had you not run Bridget to page off, to page off, but worked with her like like you must, uh, you owe her back wages by the way, uh, <clears throat> plus whatever human rights. Uh, you know, ascertains as adequate uh, deterrent punishment, uh, as well as you know calculating and where she should have been by now with her, with her uh, uh, bravado, her her uh, passion for Canada and the truth that would uh, motivate her to risk her job like that, and risk controversy and jump right out and oh, sir, Stephen, stop! You know, trying to protect them from himself. Well, you can't do that, right? Sadly. Well, yeah, you can protect each other there, but. So, uh, you know, um, I'll just leave that with a. Uh, Zig Heil Hitler! We love you!